Welcome guys to another episode of Craftsman Fishing. Today we're gonna try to fish for crappie, and I'm gonna try to just walking around and see if I see some, you know, you know, some edibles like I do before. Right here in, in this area, I, I found before this uh, fruit is called pow pow. It's P A W P A W pow pow. They call it, and it tastes like a mango for real, and it's, it's really tasty. And that I know is a Native American fruit it's from here, from the United States. And I know it's go through all the way down to uh, North and South Carolina, all the way here, and some other parts of the South and the and the and the, and the North. And this fruit always uh, grow around the shores of the or the river so let's see what we can catch today guys i want to try for crappie today i know i can catch crappie very easy in a, a little pond that i know here this is called rally's luck this is a uh, the COO canal this 24 you can come here fishing it's a lot of people guys but it's really worth it let's go let's go guys here's the spot that i was telling you we got a lot of algae on it so i don't know how it's gonna be luck let's try it let's go let's go all right guys i always found something Today I found mushrooms today again. Edible mushrooms. I don't know, I'm not sure. This look like it's not edible anymore. I see a lot of insects eating them. So that means it's edible. Well, like I said guys, I'm not gonna be collecting nothing because I don't want to freak out my wife. She don't well she want me to research very well the, the mushrooms and stuff that I do. This one is ready, ready to eat. And it look like it's edible. So I don't know guys, I just wanna, I'm not gonna pick it, yeah, pick, yeah, pick it other, well, I'm, I'm not gonna be, you know, taking nothing home, I just wanna show you, I'm gonna look for the species, I'm gonna take a very good video about it, and see how it goes, maybe it's an edible plant, or maybe not, maybe next year, when I come in here, I can really, really, really catch those, and I see a lot of frogs everywhere too guys, so let's go, let's go, alright guys, fish on, fish on, Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Oh no, again, green fish. Yep, a green fish, guys. Let's go, let's go. Right, guys, fish on, fish on. I think it's not all the small green fish. Look like, yep. They're hungry. It's a lot of those here. <laughs> well guys, finally we found the fruit I was looking for. It's called Pow Pow. I see many in the ground right here. This look like at the end start eating it. It's really good. <laughs> Other insects try to eat in it. And I see, they really like it. I'm gonna try to look for this patch. Maybe it's something good here. This Maybe this is for today. Yep, this one for today. <sighs> but the ants are really fast. You see? They love this fruit. This native from here. I'm gonna take one or two. Well, guys, the, be the, the better days to come and to pick them up this fruit is around uh, September 15 or September 10th, all the way through October 15. From there, guys, maybe you're not gonna find it. This one is ripe, so I'm gonna cut it right here to show you. You can cut it half. You, you do, do not eat the uh, the skin. Oh my God, it's so good. Yep. You can see inside. Got some sips inside. That's really big sips. See it? Mmm, guys, it's really good. Mmm. Remind me, remind me a little bit, it tastes like a mango. Mmm. Mmm. And I know this fruit is, is, is native from here, but it's not related to mangoes. The mangoes are from the India, I mean, this is native from here. Mmm. Mm. This is the seed, guys, here, right here. Right here, the seed. You can plant in your garden and it's gonna grow. <laughs> it's really good. Deer love this and all the animals too. The squirrels love this too. Let's go, let's go. 
to identify a papa tree guys it's easy you see the branch and the leaves you got the shape they are one two three four five six seven in one branch and every oh all of these are yeah i like this i think it's easy to grow this tree for real but this tree will be in winter nothing let's go let's go let's see if it was more i can find i cannot believe it There's so many here i already got it and this uh, 15 and i see a guy he asked me you looking for pop pops i said yes and he asked me for if i see more over there i said yes but i'll give it some because there's so many here guys that will be ashamed to don't share when other people you know the fruit is it's, it is around here i already eat one but i'm gonna eat more later if i get hungry but really guys i want to use walking around investigate this this part of the potomac river it's really beautiful so let's go let's well, go guys that's what i can call a, a, a big 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 yep they're ripe let me see yep they all thread together right cannot believe oh use four because they're really ripe guys oh my god i cannot believe it guys i got a lot of those now i think i got my bounty i don't want to get no more all right guys i'm almost done with my harvesting but i found something interesting i have fallen tree and see a lot of black walnuts if you peel those guys inside it's a fruit and this fruit right here when you open it you take it out of the pole the, the pulpy part and then you can get the nut and when you can get the nut guys and you can harvest the nuts and let it dry for a little while you can get the uh the, the black walnut this is just you know this is dry but i prefer you know Fill in mine, take out all the stuff, and they when you're doing this, guys, you just be careful because this thing can stain your hands black because they got some kind of uh, com composition. And when you make it try to open it and stuff, they, they make the stain, but it's really good for maybe stain some kind of uh, I don't know, I don't know what you can use it for, but I'm gonna research it more, guys, because I know a little bit, I don't know a lot, so I'm trying to learn more. So okay guys i almost finished my harvesting i almost got in my i got it like a color or the uh, or the uh pow pow so i'm gonna be trying to get a few, few more to eat and let's go let's go all right guys another oyster yeah oyster mushroom i think this is used for medicine this, this room yeah this grow in the hardwoods i'm gonna look for the species later it's really beautiful let's all go let's guys. go I finished my harvesting. I got uh, enough to eat whatever I want. I'm gonna try to make a smoothie. I left more of the pop house and the tree. They're gonna be falling down soon, and the raccoons and all animals gonna be eating it. So that's what it is. It's nature. It's, it's nature. It's nature. You know, uh, it is nature circle. You know. So I left some there for people want to you know come by, take some, or even don't. And they if I drop it, the animal's gonna eat it. So let's go, let's go, guys. All right, guys, fish on, fish on. Another green, yeah, another green fish. Okay, guys, I got my, I got my batch of papas ready. I'm gonna go back to the truck because they are really, really soft. That's why they don't, they don't really sell in the market very well. And I know some places they sell it, but they ship the well, they send it by mail, the fruit, because it's really hard to. To maintain fresh they're really 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 soft oh another fish on guys oh well guys there's a lot of green fish here and sometimes i catch a small uh, crappy but like i said guys you you when you got a pop house guy you have to get a, a very good basket when really good uh, uh padding at the bottom because they're dirty soft when they're ready to go don't cut it green because they're gonna you don't have a very very bad case of diarrhea or poison yourself so it's better you check the tree and when they fall they're ready to go so i want to come back to the truck guys and put it back in the truck let's go, let's go. to here i got a lot of papas like i said guys they're really fragile like you can see right there i want to use one of those for make a smoothie in my, in my house but for right now i want to try to take it off from the back some of the waters that i got here this is my bounty i want to share with my family my wife and my niece and my nieces oh it depends if they want because <laughs> For them, it's a little weird this kind of fruit, but this is a Native American fruit. You can find it all the way around the Potomac River. Now is the time, guys. 
from September 15 or 10 to October 15 or 20. From there, guys, you're not gonna find it. They're gonna be dropping on the ground. The raccoon's gonna eat it. The deer's gonna eat it. The ants gonna eat it. And I got it here for somewhere here. I got. Uh, well, I don't got it no more. I got it one of those uh, papas. What is that? Uh, here is. You see here. You can see here the ants start eating it. It's really ripe. I just bring this one in to show you how the animals start eating it. But maybe I make a smoothie from this. So let's go, let's go guys. I'm gonna keep one for me to eat it right now. The rest I'm gonna take it home. And like I said guys, this is really fragile and this fruit is very well to get it. Use this time of the year and from there, you're not gonna get it. So I'm gonna leave one water here to keep it cold. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna go trying to fish for crappie. Let's go, let's go. This is the, the catch crappie here. Big crappie. So I'm gonna try here under the bridge. Maybe catch something, maybe nothing. Everything depends on the fish. They don't want to buy, they don't buy. If they want to buy, they bite. Simple as that. Fish on, fish on, guys. First crappie, I think. No, oh, no, it's a bluegill. Yep. Okay, guys. Yeah, first, blue, yeah, first bluegill. Whoop. Well, happens. All right, guys. Fish on, fish on. Another bluegill. No crappie yet, but we close. We close. <laughs> That interesting right here. Another bluegill. Another beautiful bluegill. Let's go, let's go. Right guys, maybe we got a crappie what we were looking for. Nope. But we got a big 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 bluegill here. Very nice specimen. One more time. I don't see nothing else here. Yep very nice but not what we're looking for very nice specimen right there guys let's go let's go finally team maybe we got carpet today nope another bluegill yeah anyways let's go let's go hey right, guys another fish Another green fish. <laughs> it's a lot of those here. We're gonna change location. We're gonna go like 23. We're gonna go there because there's a lot of people right now here and I don't got it, no problem with people, but I like to fishing alone. That's what I, that's what I am. I'm, I'm a, like a long wolf, so. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's go, let's go, and I eat some of the uh, papaws, and I eat, uh, swallow one of those seeds, you know, it was so delicious, so I was investigating, no problem to one seed, but <laughs> so, so, something happened, so huh, whatever, so I was going to go through <laughs> uh, a lot of deer eat those and propagate the seeds, so I don't think it's going to be a problem for me if a deer can eat it. <laughs> No problem for me, so let's go, let's go, guys. Yeah, nice for guys if you can see right there, but it's a big snapping toad right there. It's a big specimen. You go down right there. Let me see if I can attract it. Just want to you see it, but I don't want to hook it. Let's 
No, he's gone. It's a big, big. Pretty much luck. Anyway, I'm going. I think what I'm doing is not wrong. I think maybe the water is too dirty. I don't know. I'm gonna try it right here. Let's go. Let's go. Quad fish, and I think I'm gonna use it like a bait. Like you can see, it's here. Oh, <laughs> I'm almost gone. I wanna try to use it like a bait, it's biting me hard. <laughs> and you can see I can catch it here. It's a lot of cod fish here. If I'm not wrong, you maybe you can harvest some for eat it, but I'm not sure how is the uh, regulation you wanna use this this one for bait, and that's it. Let's go, let's go. Well, guys, try it now with the little piece of. Of, uh, the uh, crawfish I got, I got a bite right there. Let's see. Yep. Alright guys, I keep going walking around. To be honest with you, I think that's gonna be the last batch. I see a lot of people uh, catching, not catching. <laughs> well, yeah, looking for the uh, pow pows, and I don't think it's gonna be more. That's okay. I mean, and if somebody is enjoying it, I see a lot of people. See, uh, I see a lot of people taking pow pows from the ground. You know, whatever is you know, ready to go. That's good. I'm really happy about that. The the food don't, don't get waste. You can see somebody make a hit fire. I don't know why, but whatever. All right, guys, we're leaving now. I got my pop out right here. I'm gonna show you how I process those to make a smoothies. They're really good. I got my batch very well. Got different sizes, but really, guys, I found the size that never I found in my life. How big they are! Oh my god. Actually, I found a tree. It is the same species, but look a little different, so I don't know. Nah, I have to research some more. Because the papas are from the other, the other side, and they're more small, I don't know why, but they were found here. And the uh, lack number 23 are bigger. I don't know why. That's what it is, I think, I don't know. Whatever it is, so I'm leaving now, I go home. I don't catch a lot of fish today. I don't catch the target species that was crappy, but well, no luck at all, so let's go, let's go. Whoa! <laughs>